Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, just a, an ultra nice spring day. It'll end up being probably the nicest day of the week. We do have changes on the way beginning tomorrow. In the meantime, that's still holding on to sunshine. You know, much nicer than yesterday because there was less wind today. So beautiful. Along the coastline, it was cooler. There was no sea breeze yesterday. Sea breeze today keeping Newport cooler, but very nice temperatures here in the mid 50s, while inland areas topped out in the upper 50s to lower 60s. In fact, still 61 in Taunton, upper 50s in Providence, a reflection of the wind off the water this time around, keeping Newport uh, down to 53, but pretty good. Dry skies for tonight. Unsettled weather starting uh, early, late tomorrow afternoon and early tomorrow evening. That's not to say that we have a storm on the way for Thursday, but extra clouds, cooler temperatures, eventually some uh, light rain showers, and then better chances for some showers both uh, Friday and even into Saturday. Easter Sunday, we're still being cautiously optimistic here, but a slight chance of a shower, but still painting the theme of a mainly dry day. We'll show you that in the seven day forecast. Uh, skies are clear across New England. Clouds off to our west, and we're tracking uh, an area of low pressure, a storm, which will actually uh, work up into the upper Great Lakes. But attached to it is both a warm front and a cold front. The warm front arrives tomorrow, and with it, extra clouds and eventually some drizzle and some showers around this time tomorrow. And then the cold front slowly makes uh, an eastward progression Friday and Saturday. That'll help to enhance uh, scattered showers of both of those days. Now, behind this warm front, the air is very humid. In fact, it'll almost feel summer-like come Friday and Saturday. Not so much that we're forecasting summer-like temperatures, but rather summer-like humidity. Very humid atmosphere both Friday and Saturday. And that'll help to fuel some heavier showers at times. Let's get in real close and walk you through it hour by hour. No problems this evening. Heading out will stay cool and dry. Initially, we're clear. Watch the time bar, and we'll take you through the overnight. Notice the extra clouds tomorrow morning. There may be a passing sprinkle tomorrow morning, but essentially dry. Don't look for any downpours and huge puddles tomorrow morning other than maybe a nuisance sprinkle coming through. And then we get into a lull where it's just cloudy, cool, and dry during the early afternoon. And then around this time tomorrow, 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the evening, you see these speckles of green indicating either light showers or drizzle 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. And this will continue through most of tomorrow night. Actually, the mildest part of tomorrow, not so much tomorrow afternoon, but tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, temperatures will jump into the upper 50s. So outside of maybe a quick shower, or a sprinkle, mainly cloudy, cool and dry tomorrow morning, starting off at 45. Cloudy, much cooler tomorrow. Some showers and drizzle, very light by late day and early evening, and that extends into Thursday night. Milder, much milder Friday and Saturday, along with a high humidity. I do expect uh, some drizzle and fog early Friday morning, some partial sunshine, but not much. Do expect some heavier showers by late day and early evening. Kind of summery on Saturday, very breezy and mild and humid. Watch for some heavier showers. And right now, Easter Sunday, slight chance of a shower, but a mainly dry day. It's not nearly as wet or as soaking as Saturday, with temperatures reaching the uh, lower 60s by uh, Sunday afternoon. Look at Monday, a mix of clouds and sunshine and a high temperature all the way up to uh, 70. So somewhat unsettled over the next several days, and I think the better shower chances are coming up tomorrow evening, Friday, and into uh, Saturday. Some of that rain on Saturday may be uh, heavy at times and uh, very humid. Still holding out uh, some cautious hope here that the Easter Sunday is dry, and I think it will be mainly dry. All right, Tony, thanks for covering.